Good morning, Hatfield family, and good morning to all. Uh, welcome uh, to this morning's uh, devotional. Uh, we're in our faith promise season, uh, and the theme of our devotional series is uh, what is in your hand to give. You know, so giving for me is such an, an, an admirable thing. You know, don't we all just go, wow, you know, when we see how people give, you know, not just out of their finances, but also out of their time as well. You know, scriptures say that the Lord loves a cheerful giver and doesn't just speak. It speaks more than just the act of giving. It speaks of a heart attitude. I was so blown away by many South Africans from all walks of life. They just were giving during this time of lockdown, giving out of their finances, giving out of their time. You know, so for me, it, it really, you know, it created a wow moment, you know, in my life. You know, so one of my favorite quotes by Zig Ziglar says that it is your attitude and not your aptitude that determines your altitude. You know, so I'm so aware and I always say this to people that God looks at the heart of a man. God looks at our attitude. You know, there's a biblical story for me that it just, it grips my heart, you know, and it, we find it in the book of Mark, you know, where Jesus was observing, you know, in the temple, you know, when people were putting in their offerings or their tithe. So speaking of the widow, so let me read to you from the New Living Translation, you know, and I'm reading from, uh, in the book of Mark, chapter uh, 12, uh, from verse 41. You now, so listen, Jesus sat down near the collection box in the temple and watched as the crowds dropped in their money. Many rich people put in large amounts. Then a poor wid widow came and dropped in two small small coins you know so like in a widow's case it almost does not make sense you know to give in times of uncertainty or when we lack but as believers we are aware that giving is also an act of faith or a step of faith world economics should not be the determining factor as to when and why we should give our giving solely, our giving solely depends upon our belief in a living God, a God who is our provider. God is our provider. So in this season, we trust in Him and we look towards Him. When it comes to God, we don't hold back, just like God who didn't hold back on us. Amen. So I did not do a deep theological study or an exegetical study you know, concerning the, the widow's giving. You know, I'm sharing this to encourage you to give, to take, you know, the step of faith, to be generous in this season of faith promise. Open up your heart, take that step of faith and give. But when you give, let it be a, a sweet or cheerful offering unto our Lord. Your giving, like Pastor Chris preached on Sunday, Pastor Chris Matabula, through your giving, you are paying it forward. And through giving to faith promise, you are definitely paying it forward. So family, Hatfield family, and to everyone listening this morning, may the Lord bless you abundantly and exceedingly as you give in this season. And again, I know we live in uncertain times, you know, maybe we live in fear. We don't know where the next meal is going to come from. Some of you have lost your jobs. Some of you have to close down your businesses. You know, but God wants us to trust upon Him. So in your giving in the season, trust upon the Lord. Be like this widow, you know, who gave out of her little. She take a huge step of faith through her giving. So let me pray for you. Father, I thank you, you know, for enabling us, this Lord. Father, I thank you for giving unto us, this Lord. Father, thank you for always stirring our faith. Thank you, Father, that we can trust upon you for, to provide for each and every one of us, this Lord. And I pray for every person listening to, this, to me this morning, Father, that they will take a step of faith 
that you will remove all fear out of their lives, Father, and that they will be generous in this season of faith promise and that they will give cheerfully unto you. Will you bless their giving? In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen.